All righty, the countdown now in all seriousness to the kickoff. What about pre match last week, New Zealand and Samoa? Is anyone in the kangaroo side going to get up under or into the grill of Nelson Asifa Solomon? Or I don't think so, but there have been some moments he's gone by. Willie Mason probably watching tonight somewhere remembers a response to a haka that was uh, caught on camera. But this is still one of the great moments of sport, trans Tasman rivalry, great respect between nations. James Fisher Harris to lead his team here. The boys are right about the packs. Liotta, Fisher Harris, Papalihi, Nikora, Tarpini, Nelson off the bench. Let's get in the mood for some test match rugby league. standing up next week they go again how do they top that the mexican standoff I, I was sort of wondering what's about to happen here andrew that's one of the great moments in world sport to stand in front of the harker now i wasn't big enough to hold my own gloves up so i'll pass the answer on to blocker roach co-commentator here but that was super impressive couple of big boys staring each other off just before kickoff block. Yeah, I just reckon the amazing thing about that is you've just got to stand your ground. You, you, you've just got to show no emotion. Yeah. And say, look, you've given up all that energy. Let's go. Let's get it on. That sides me up. He was almost looking for someone to blink first. Yeah, that's someone right. to someone first. to snigger yeah. something. Waiting for uh, certainly not a slow burn, any of that. That was just waiting for ignition. The eyes of Munster, he wasn't moving there's no way that Fisher Harris was taking his eye off the opponent, so the challenge is set. Yeah, Amy Parker Light, and we will be ready to.
Tom Flegler, one of those on debut. He's just stared down the hucker for the first time. Heart rate, can you, can you take us back there, Block, when you are a front rower? You may be taking the first hit up of a test. Yeah, well, that's a big thing. I mean, you, you've got to have that mindset of, I want, give me the ball. I want it. Yeah. Get out of the road, I'm going to take the first hit up. So that's got to be the mentality of Flegler, Flegler at least in the first set. Figuratively speaking, of course, kill or be killed. It's, it's a bit like that uh, with the first run of the night. Joey Manu has been a star, as we know, in the black and white. What he does have in the resume is a test win over Australia back in 2018. And him and Timaku were great last week. Dynamic, a lot of touches, a lot of tackle breaks. And this man, doesn't matter what jersey he wears, he's almost the best player on the field for New Zealand every time. Got the, uh, the storylines of these two front rowers. James Fisher Harris, a try scorer last week against Samoa. He can compare notes with uh, his Panthers teammate Moses, who got a, a try in the grand final. Nice little box set. What? Adam G, the grand final referee, in charge of this one. Wherever you're watching, get comfortable and relaxed as you can be because it is game on. It is game on. Australia and New Zealand, it's a double act. They will be head-to-head -head again next week in the Pacific Championship final. Kiwis haven't won an Australian soil against the Kangaroos since 2015. Countdown on. That first run is about to happen. Right here on Fox League, the kickoff. No, the run will not happen. Jermaine Osako has put it 60 metres and into the fence. It takes the wind out of the sails, does it? Because you see Australia straight away in the attack now. They'll kick for touch from the halfway line and they'll start off attacking straight away. Oh, that's a bad blunder. That's a dreadful blunder. Play. It's almost as if the emotion of the hucker is then wiped away with one, with one error. Australia to attack. Opening set, 25 metres away from the New Zealand line. They're queuing up now to take the first run. One minor detail missing. That's the ball. So Stags with the free kick. Hunt, Trebojevic, into the side. Big Tino, Payne Haas, cooling their jets tonight. Hunt, Yo, and on to Flegler. He has his first run as a kangaroo. Wait, wait. Now Hunt, Yo, right to the line. Cherry Evans, build up good. Defense even better. Strong stuff on Katoni Stags forced the mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quite the statement from one New one, Zealand. One on one, but it's a knock Defense on there. One on one, knock on. I think the ball went backwards there for Australia. It was a good defense there. A couple joined in on the tackle. The ball ripped out. One on one, it's a good call. Yeah, good call and good read from Mulatalo there. Tedesco had the opportunity to throw the cutout pass, but. Left winger for New Zealand made a good decision. Dislodged the ball. We have seen tries straight from the scrum from Australia already in this Pacific Championship campaign. And they're setting to go left here. Andrew, there's four on three down the short side here with Munster and Tedesco. Little illness during the week, but he's here on deck tonight. For the hammer. A couple of tries in his Kangaroos debut two weeks ago. From Munster to Hunt to dump it off to Flegler. Good low tackle for him. 30th test tonight for New Zealand. Great achievement. Yo with it. To the line. Doesn't lick up with Connor. Yo's close. Got a fleeting glimpse at the goal line there. Terrible play the ball. Hunt. Bad pass on the bounce. In fact, they'll come back for the knock on. The play the ball was sloppy. And Australia squander an opportunity. A little bit closer to the line there to attack. Australia would have liked a little bit more room there. Here's the play the ball. That's a sloppy play the ball. Isaiah Yo nearly went straight through. Tension to detail not there for Australia early with that play the ball. No, a, a real mistake by Isaiah Yo. Let's go down to the sideline for the first time tonight. Lara Pitt, Test Match Rugby League. It's a special buzz here tonight. 
atmosphere electric and conditions sensational from the sideline, Bossy. There was a gusty wind all day, uh, but that has died down significantly in time for kickoff in this one. So a dry and clear night tonight for this game. We've already had an enormous upset. Kiwi Ferns beating Australia for the first time in seven years. Now it's over to the men's side to produce what would be their first win over the Kangaroos since 2018. Yes, uh, Hughes filtered through to the rooms of that result. And here is Fisher Harris. One of the premier front rowers in our competition. Leo Thompson, he was at the forefront of the Haka. Big moment for him. Kiwi's just short of halfway. Now for him. And the kick from Jerome Hughes. When they played in the semi final, Hughes and Brown were the try scorers for New Zealand. Both in the first half. They, they went to the half time break leading the Kiwis. And just that lone try in the second half. Scored by Cameron Murray. Lieutenant was at half time. Tedesco into Dylan Edwards. Another Panther on show. Second test tonight. Hunts. Munster. Very flat. Almost forward to Murray. Wasn't done with any great speed. Now short side. Munster. Well, he's at Melbourne Storm home soil. And, uh, a set. Without incident, and Australia to kick through Cherry Evans. 34-year-old halfback for Australia, 33-year-old hooker, 30-year-old fullback. And the oldest spines I think Australia's had. Kiwis with uh, typical back over the 30-meter line. It's been great to watch his progress. Canberra Raiders now, chance Nickel could start there with the ball. What's doing in the set so far from the Kiwis? Maybe a shift now. Then Pabaliti with a bit of footwork back up towards halfway. Forward for Tarpani. Now Hughes, cut out ball for Manu. Manu with the offload. Back inside for Hughes. Consider that a warning shot from Joey Manu. Now for Brown, the bomb from 35 metres out. Tedesco calls it. Edwards stayed out of the play. And Australia with possession 10 metres away from their own line. Edwards keeping his spot in the team after that opening test. Holmes comes back in on the wing for Cobbo. Now Cotter in the back row tonight. Back with it. Tedesco up in the line. A bit of an arm wrestle early. Just that uh, Sarko era in the Yo era in the play the ball, evening things up. And now Hunt, Cherry Evans. At the end of what has been a superb year for DCE. And they didn't play in the finals. Evans club form and origin form first class. Contrast these styles here to start this game because you've got a small forward pack in Australia shifting the ball, having to go a bit sideways from the New Zealand team. They're going powerful first, then earning the right to shift the ball. New scored there and then pushed, but tackle three. Whistle had gone. Okay, took the marker out. G explaining there. Now for all oh, matches, oh, man, it's a bit hot. He was rocked, the number nine for the Kangaroos. Now Hughes and uh, Nikita will tackle Munster. I must say, we've got a great test match to look forward to tonight, but I am salivating at the prospect as the ball will go out on the full. Fisher that, Harris and the Otter. That was Munster, kick pressure on Jerome Hughes. Melbourne Storm teammates at Amy Park. Munster didn't hesitate, he just went straight after his halfback from club level. Got him off balance. Good result for Munster. This next week, Tino Payne Haas against Fisher Harris and Liotta to start the test. You just wait, I'm wondering if the Australians might open up a little bit here with their with their ball playing. They've had the field position, the best of the field position to start this game of footy. Just wondering it won't be too long before they start moving that football a bit. Legler on to Yo. Keeps the uh, legs pumping there. They're now 
in the strike zone, 20 away from the line. Kovojevic, Munster, inside runner is Murray. He scored in five tests in a row, Cameron Murray. And for Jerry Evans, holds it up. Tedesco, kick, looking for Valentine Holmes. Holmes is home. Oh, that is superb execution from the Kangaroos. I'll tell you what was good about that. Mulatalo has come in a couple of times to make crash tackles. That time he was up in the line. They saw it, the little grubber kick in and behind. And it's Tedesco, not noted for his kicking game. That's a perfectly way to kick Holmes. Great bounce, gets there first. Australia are able to score him. Yeah, it's good variation from the Australian attack because last time Tedesco was in that position, he threw the ball. Ronaldo Mulatalo came in. This time a delicate kick and Valentine Holmes. Geez, he can score a try at representative level because he pounced on that ball. Nice movement from Cherry Evans, but Captain Tedesco put it on a plate for his winger there. 20 tries in 20 tests. Valentine Holmes. What a record it is. The NRL is uh, set to hit the 100 try mark next year with the Cowboys. He's uh, finished this season on 92. at origin level where he scored 13 tries in 16 games for Queensland. It's a great play from the winger because he's in perfect position to catch a long pass from Tedesco if he had thrown it. And as soon as the ball was put on the foot from the fullback, Tedesco, uh, Valentine Holmes just slingshot himself into position and got there first. And it shows the experience and also the amount of games that he's played Tedesco. Early on in his career, he wouldn't have attempted that sort of grubber kick. That's confidence. Valentine Holmes scores. Yeah, terrific moment there. So Australia on the front foot on the scoreboard. Holmes back into the side, becomes first choice kicker ahead of Katoni Staggs. To convert his own try then. And close enough to the touchline. The strike is outstanding. 6 0 scoreline, Australia over New Zealand. Lara on the sideline. Yeah, and in this 20th test cap, scoring a try, a very special moment for Val Holmes. Mal Meninga speaking of his selection for this week, saying he's never let his country or his state down. Former Australia captain Boy Cordner came into camp this week to present his special 20-game jersey and talked about him as a great big game player. Tries in the green and gold a couple of World Cups ago. He yeah, had a, a week out of those tries just about so restart this time the range is right cherry evans underneath it and his bentley teammate jake running it back australia up six nil and we're off to vegas as you know for the very first time the nrl in vegas how good does that sound join us as australia's most exciting sport is unleashed on the sports and entertainment capital Rugby League Unleashed in Vegas. Tickets on sale now. Visit nrl.com slash Vegas. I think my mailies, you two, are going to attend just to watch. They'll let them perform. They'll just get along as they want to watch the game. I've already got my ticket. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> now Hunt. That flat pass, yo. Flick. Ah, flick. Straight. Straight into the midst of Joey Mark. So Kiwis with the ball on halfway. Fisher Harris. Dropping that off to Brown. Who can be a match winner tonight if he gets that, that step going. Oh, Fisher Harris. As hard as you can run. Stags and Flegler were waiting for him. Hughes with it. The clock start. Then on for Manu. Carrying the ball like it's a grape. He's 12 metres away from the line. Hook start to Hughes, foreign center of the field, then on to Brown. They're using the whip. Timmy Gore didn't get it cleanly, just checked his run. And the defense is up to get him in the form of Cotter. Last tackle. Probably he almost ran into a dead end there. Now Brown's kick. This is dangerous. The leap. Oh, he had it. I, I thought Hughes had it. And Munster wins the battle again with his Melbourne team. Well, how cool was he under that ball there? Didn't even jump to compete for the ball. 
knew exactly where it was going, Munster. Two big plays from him early in this game. Poor kick from Brown, though. Had to put it on a plate for Hughes to come up with. Made the seven tackle set. New Zealand already down 6 0, under a bit of pressure on this set again. Very direct here, Tabu Fido into the Kiwis half back there. Go, Jerry Evans. Dunn there to the uh, mulleted Reuben Cotter. Hunt. Flegler, set restart. Australia here. This becomes quite the pressure set for the Kiwis. Munster. Manu moved up quickly on the outside there. Plenty of tackles left for the green and gold here. And starting hooker again, Grant to come off the bench. Finds to play a role as well as Tedesco. Switched in the tackle. Cameron Murray. Four hunts. Switch back. Trebojevic loses the legs in the Hughes tackle. That's the fourth. Hunt. Munster. Cherry Evans. Step off the right double step. For it catches his old mate there. Now Hunt, last tackle, kick, fielded by Hughes. And a, a line drop out to come, not automatic. Repeat set, as we know. Strave has already scored one try through a kick on the right-hand side, and multiple occasions then, Ronaldo Mulatalo is still out of position. Staggs and Valentine Holmes are calling for the kick, so watch for DC to put another kick in there again, or Tedesco. See Adrian Lamb there on screen. A reminder tomorrow we have coverage of PG and Papua New Guinea. Lachlan play half back for PNG. And the short drop out has fallen beautifully for Staggs. Who has been nailed by Dylan Brown. Put you away from the line. And Cherry Evans, Trebojevic. Plowing his way forward for him to defend. Hunts. Show Flegler has rocked. They've forced the mistake. For it has been superb. What a terrier. What a what a warrior Kieran For it is. One of a number involved in the tackle, but For it is as tough as an old boot. Fisher for us up top. Game over and possession stakes there. Now Fisher Harris. Hunt gets some back. Flegler bleeding from the nose. Who's a nicker? Something highlighted pre game when you saw the anthem. Nicker, he's not the biggest back row, but he's no midget. But when he stands next to Nelson, it was like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Denny DeVita. The Hughes bombs from 40 metres out. This will come down to Edwards. Great take. Wonderful take from Dylan Evans. Wait. And just the one error. Uh, Yui had a bomb catch and lost it on the way down. It's uh, Samoa, but a very competent, very efficient first game in the green and gold. Michael McGuire alongside him, Stephen Price. The coach's box with New Zealand. 16 minutes gone. Yo on the charge. Now back away. Instead of driver left foot up. Which will find the grass. Has he got the range right? Has he got the range right now? Not by much. But uh, he's not overly happy with that. I think he placed himself for a 40-20 there. Just got himself in that position. Didn't get the right angle. Kicks the ball dead in goal. Australia made a couple of errors in the last few sets that they've had, and that's another one. Kicking the ball dead in goal. Giving the ball back to the Kiwis. So, 6-0 scoreline. Valentine Holmes, the try and the goal. To uh, start all of this. But uh, the Kiwis... Right in the contest with Tarpany offload. Foran, Fisher, Harris and Brown. Papalihi now onto it. He's on the left. Nikara plays the right. Now 
35 away. Hughes off the right. Munster was waiting for it. Ready in the tackle. They got two left in this set. And a set restart against Murray. Some may have contested. It was Hughes that was milking all of that. New Zealand have got their opportunity right here, right now. Foreign for Hughes. And there, Leona, lovely footwork back through the centre. Hunting the other defenders. Foreign. Kingry's looking good. Fisher Harris. Great tackle, Trebojevic. That was a show of strength there. Foreign, Tarpany, dummy. Runs out of options. Wasted tackle there. That's the fourth. Foreign. Hughes. Kick and run. He was tackled. They'll score anyway. Britton Nicola scores for New Zealand. If not, contact. Adam G just wants to tick all the boxes here. He awards the try, but he uh, had a little bit of commentary on the run. You'd have to think it's going to be six all in a moment. Well, we talked about the power of this New Zealand pack, the Kiwis. The Otto was started. Here's the back end of it where the grubber kicks through, taken out by Murray. Before it scores the try. You have to look back at the first run from Liotta, Fisher-Harris, and also Tarpany, the big three for the Kiwis. They set that up. They got the Australia on the back foot. The grabber kicked through. They will allow this one. An epic kick here from Jerome Hughes because it was Cam Murray that gave away the repeat set of six. And with Tedesco in the line, fourth tackle kick, Jerome Hughes spots it. And it needs to be someone... A halfback kick game at the moment in the games, the way the game's going, is you need to have the vision. You need to be able to spot the fullback in the line. And Jerome Hughes put on a plate for his back row to score. Cameron Murray's probably lucky he got the arms there across because it's it's a trip in the first instance. Now they could award try and sin bidding because that's in the foul territory rather than professional foul. He definitely went with a leg first. He's definitely been young if that wasn't going to be scored by Britt Nicker up. He spends time in the bin, Cameron Murray, if the Kiwis didn't score, but what a play from Jerome Hughes. So, Jermaine Asako, who just carried on his NRL point scoring form into the test scene last week. 22 points was the Hall, two tries, seven goals. And a 6 all score line. You'd have to think, given that Australia with uh, more possession than the Kiwis, New Zealand very well placed at the moment. Well, that's a big thing. It's the first time they've really been 10, 12 metres out from the line. But as I mentioned, it was the power running through that middle third. Quick play the balls, domination there in that set, which allowed Hughes to put the grubber kick in. They got done for numbers. Caught out of position at the back there, Tedesco. The Kiwis are good enough to score. 43% of the ball overall in the first 19 and a half minutes. They've got it back to six all. Well, Fisher Harris pulled up a little there on the run, and Australia get dominance in the tackle. They'll we'll have to work hard here. The stake would hurt. That would kill the momentum off the points. Tarpany, good run. Spinning. I reckon it's about time the Kiwis now, right on time and on cue. Put a bigger sofa on. He'll rattle, rattle a few. 20 to go before half time. Good start with it. What a rare night uh, to have Australia play New Zealand in two sports at the same time. We can also tonight, Australia there fielding the ball. It's Dylan Edwards bringing the ball back over the. 20 metre line and followed up now by Cameron Murray big run Ron Coote the only Australian forward who has scored in six straight tests that's the mark that Cameron Murray is trying to equal tonight Ron Coote. now Pat Carrigan with it 10 inside the New Zealand half Hunts short side Terry Evans Little out of time in the Kiwi defence. Bubbly, he's caught one in the mush. Kick from 20 metres out. Right to the corner. Chases there. He got there first, Edwards. Tabuai Fino! He got a ball away to Lindsay.
Benji Collins, who thinks he's just won Lotto. He's just come on the field, his first touch, and Lindsay Collins has a try. Unbelievable. Well, Tabby Ifido, what about the pass back on the inside? What wonderfully skilled player he is. It was a great run from Murray. Just a little bit earlier, the crossfield kick. Australia compete for the football. The ball goes back. What about this? This is a peach of a pass. Can't believe it. He's just on. Lindsay Collins scores for Australia. He almost trips over and scoring, Cooper. I think he trips over. Terrific pass from Hammer. Lindsay <laughs> Collins, throughout his career, has always turned up when a front rower probably shouldn't be there. It does look like a Sarko does knock that on. And the referee's live call of play on might stand up. Terrific pass from Hammer. And Lindsay Collins. He can't believe it. He tripped himself over it. In the process of scoring a try for Australia. Lindsay Collins, first touch of the ball tonight. Against the Kiwis, he has his second test try. That's a remarkable moment. Look at the movement here from Lindsay Collins. Just keeps moving, probably doesn't have to be in this position. And when you keep moving, luck often falls your way. He might have tripped over himself, but he deserved that effort, Lindsay Collins. Put himself in the picture and came up with the try. His previous test try was against Italy. Lindsay Collins. Six tries in all in his NRL career. And he's got one, two in, in test football. He had his Adelaide moment this year. And that left James Tedesco. Home second kick of the night. He's got things on target. Just like that, Australia back in front, 12 points to six. The forward rotation of the Kangaroos block have done well because now Lindsay Collins and Patrick Carrigan are on. So that starting rotation held their gloves up, didn't they? Yeah, I, I mentioned the run there of Murray just a little bit earlier, but it was also Carrigan has just been on. Nice, powerful run down the right-hand side. Crossfield kick. Both those players that have come on the field have had sudden impacts. Exactly what you want off the bench. Yeah, the uh, jersey's a little tighter than in your day, Blocker. A few lumps hanging out that probably shouldn't have been there. <laughs> Back underway, 17 to go in this first half. Very enjoyable, this contest so far. And uh, Collins bringing it back. But even more so is knowing that they play again this time next week in Hamilton. We will have the Pacific Championship final. Stand up! Worthy of full house, of course. Jerry Evans on to carry them. Again involved in the tackle. In second start as Hooker in the test side. There he is, Block. Nelson Usser for Solomona. Eclipse hovers over Amy Park, the big fella. On halfway, Hunts. Cherry Evans. Standard ball. And uh, fielded by Mulatalo. Ready and, uh, ready and able to rip in. Round with it. Little push start there for the Kiwis. Twelve six score line. Monatalo's well, got another touch. A bit of energy may be lacking this set. Munster had hold of Mulatalo's arm. Manu doing what Manu does. Make up things off the top of the head of the quite remarkable kind. Hughes for it. Fisher Harris bleeding quite profusely from above the right eye as New Zealand go inside the Australian half. Brown working for every centimetre there. Foreign Jerome Hughes, bomb from 45 out. Edwards has called this one. Oh, Dylan Edwards has put it straight through the bread basket. What on earth happened there? Oh, the, clock off. the mountain goat off. has put a foot wrong. A reliable one. We had a terrific effort to help South the Lindsay Collins try. It doesn't matter what level you play at, you must keep the eye on the ball at all stages. And Dylan Edwards just come up with a huge error with his team up by six. Not too long ago to half time. 
New Zealand need a strike back here. Shaharis. Laceration. Full HIA, he said, though. Clear as a bell. It's just a cut. It's the cut. It's the cut. He's the New Zealand captain. He's in any rush to come off. He's been called over to be treated. Nelson waits a little longer. 12 points to six. This is a big set right now for the Kiwis. Often also for Solomona just checking in with his captain. Which way are they going here, Cooper? And look dangerous going to Joseph Mana at some stage in this set. I think he likes his chances up against Hamasai Tabio Fido. Looking behind the scrum here is Nickel Kutstein. He makes a late move to go to the left and then Brown tries to step. Came out aggressively there. Nothing wrong with that. Now Foran. Thompson is on the young Newcastle Knights. Five minutes away from the line. Thompson had 48 minutes on debut last week. Now Brown, Hughes working Manu's way. Not get it to him. Three in the tackle for Australia. Hunt's working very hard. 14 tackles now for the night. Four and one of that 10-meter line. Brown floats it over the top. Militalo brings it away from the sideline. Four tackles up. Kiwis down by a converted trouble. Brown, Foran, Show, Dupoff, Tapani, Spin, Offload, maybe. Wrestled the ground. Hunt, 15 tackles. Cotter, 20th. Thompson, last tackle. Hughes's kick to the end goal. Edward to relieve man if he can hang on to it. And he's made it back to the field of play. Yeah, he did well too, didn't he, to clean that ball up. And get himself back in the field of play. Kiwis have got the, the Australian side pinned in the corner now. Some tough runs needed. A little bit of redemption for Edwards that he would finish the defensive set back with the ball. I think that, oh, Cherry Evans. He's rolled the dice with a kick. Molotalo lost it. Put on his hits. No, G has called knock on. It's backwards off New Zealand. Knock on off Australia. There you go. Knock on off Australia. Yeah, clear side of it. It wasn't the sideline official call gee that was a strange play there from cherry evans it looked like no one wanted to take the ball forward there i like the, getting ambushed i like the confidence but Mulatalo's in the perfect position he got back and got a contest on the ball of valentine holmes normally when you do that off your own try line it's obvious that the defensive winger is out of position and then you kick for valentine holmes but cherry evans just backed himself even though the new, new zealand winger was in the good spot James on that challenge of sorts there. That was the collision, Yo and Fisher Harris, that just split Fisher Harris right up. Panthers teammate on Panthers teammate. So New Zealand, another scrum in great position. Munster caught offside. So it's a full blown penalty. 12 6 score line, 12 and a half to go, first half. Very quick tap allowed. And we got some back chat as well. Why would you back chat a 10 metre call? Now they're 10 away. The Kiwis. It was done without fuss by referee G. You back chat me, I blow the whistle again. Tarpany with the ball. Five metres away, make that four, maybe make it three. Foreign. Open side. There's the brown step. Carrigan just had hold of him. Close call though. This time for it. Thompson. Connor. Hangs on in the tackle. They've had 12 tackles inside the Aussie 20 meter zone in the half so far. Brown to Hughes. Show outside. Nickel Kloster. Then sprinting to the line. Oh no. He's got over the touching goal line. Jermaine Osako. He's missed the runway, I reckon. Okay. Control Tower four. is saying Joey. you have missed the runway. He's got a grounding. Dude, look like if he got down low, he might have scored there. It was a great scramble from the Australian the side. Tabi Fido got across there along with, I think you'll find it's Tedesco that gets himself across there. 
Well, does he score or not block? I don't think he does. So, Jesus right courageous. Right. Look at this. One, on, this point. one New Zealand player versus three Australians. Sarko just goes all in. Gets over the top of Tedesco. Oh. And his foot stays in. Foot. Oh, hang on. And the ball is oh, yeah. the touching goal line. We have a decision. Wow. If he gets himself down low and tries to go under that cover or coming across there, I think he's more chance of scoring. He did a wonderful job nearly to score anyway. Sarka. <laughs> and NRL level, we've seen him come up with some miraculous puts down, put downs, but having three Australians coming coming across in cover defence. It was a courageous play for Sarka to go all in and he almost got it. Yeah, closer than I thought on first viewing. Almost an incredible try. Our wingers are incredible. Watch it again as Australia get a penalty. I think Harry Green's going to make a difference here coming on. All over. What he did with on? his rear boot. And then, well, well does, oh, geez, I tell you what, you go back a frame. <laughs> the shape of the ball. It's not a house brick, <laughs> Cooper. Yeah, what's up? Rounded at the points. Ran on to... Lindsay Collins. And now Grants to Yo to Carrigan. Australia have used three of the four bench players. Hines waits nervously. Grants, Munster, Nelson saw him. One of three in the tackle. But in quick time, Australia now peppering the New Zealand goal line. Harry Grant, lovely scoop. Nelson said I'm having none of that. He was offside anyway. Set restart. It could have been nasty for Grant. Nelson had a good hold of him. Now Collins. The try machine will play it 10 away from the line. Grant's left side. Munster. Murray. Oh, there's Hughes stopping a try. Quick play the ball. Grant back in foul. He's done it again. Collins has got a double. Lindsay Collins has scored the first try double of his life and he's done it for his country. Uh, gee, their bench has been good. That's a second try for Collins, but Carrigan and also Grant out of dummy half, winning the, the six again. It's a great try, the cutout pass. He nearly goes through. Murray holds onto the ball, the quick play the ball, and watch the cutout pass here. The face ball, straight on to Collins. Run like you want the ball every time you're going to get it. And that hits him on the chest. Beautiful pass. Great skills there. And he's in again, Collins. Harry Grant's ability to come off the bench after the fatigue set into the game after about 20 odd minutes of rep level. He is absolutely toying with the middle defenders of New Zealand here. Played out to the right, long pass back to left. Made defence split in half. And Lindsay Collins just powers himself through the gap. Good run, courageous run against the grain from Collins, but geez, Harry Grant's special when he's in a dummy half. He can't believe it. L Lindsay Collins cannot believe what just happened to him. The, uh, the grandson of former Newtown winger and Kangaroos representative, Lionel Williamson. He's suddenly a try scorer, a try double scorer for his country. A million to one shot sometimes get up 16 to 6 Valentine Holmes is three from three the margin is the biggest of the night just come on the field Lindsay Collins he's had five runs and scored two tries how good's he going but this is the lead up work great one-on-one -on -one play there from Cameron Murray and Harry Grant look at this separation in the defense of New Zealand and he throws a 15 metre cutout pass and hits Lindsay Collins on the chest. Well, there's some smart asses in the Fox Sports Lab team. They're telling me that he, he has got a try double before. <laughs> uh, Holden Cup uh, 2015. Try double. Surely not his first game. His first game in the Holden Cup. He got two. That yeah, we can't get that. Come on. This is two tries for Australia. Fox League test match against New Zealand. Carrigan to bring it back. 18 to 6. Australia over New Zealand. And I don't think New Zealand's been a 12 point worse side, but that's where we've landed with eight minutes to go in the first half. 
up for a few millimetres. Asako's kicking for the 12 all. Grant takes off and caught them again. What an introduction from Harry Grant. Well, he got the six again tackle on Nelson, set up that try, then he's got another one for his team. He's just playing at different speed at the moment, Harry Grant. Really toying with the middle defenders of New Zealand. Well, the difference between him and every other hooker in the game so far is that when he gets an opportunity, he thinks that he can make a break or run or get an extra set. On his foot. Oh. He backs himself straight away. He'll keep doing that, Grant, now. He's run a couple of penalties so far since he's been on, and he'll keep at it. Yeah, they love Harry. They became the number one hammer, actually, during the World Cup. Over there in England. And Harry Grant. There he is. Taking them left to Desco. Lovely Fenn. Step off the right. Griffin Knee makes the tackle. Cowboys forward on now for New Zealand. His second test. His team under pressure here. Yo and Carrigan. These are, are big tackles to make for New Zealand. As well as they have competed, they, they can find themselves 18 down. Cherry Evans. Cotter. Cotter. Just two metres away. Grant is scheming on the last tackle. Munster with a switch. Cherry Evans. Mulatalo is there. Holmes is there. And the ball is over the dead ball line. Some variation there from the Kangaroos. Shift to the left hand side. Everyone thought Munster was going to kick it. But the switch back to Cherry Evans to put on the top of this man. Almost come up trumps. And Valentine Holmes is a target on that right side of the king game for Cherry Evans. Stand there. Left shoulder. Play box, you can see the work of the finish. It's an even leap. Let's go down to the sideline, Lara Pitt. James Fisher Harris will return uh, before half time. He has passed his HIA, but he'll be in jersey number 23 due to some spilt claret on his other jersey. No. Uh, but he'll be back, which is the most important thing for New Zealand. Hey, the 23 jersey, the kid bag, the Kiwis. They'll send us for Solomona. What a sight. Getting wound up there. Kiwis with Hughes. We love it when he runs. Hughes tackled by Collins. Last play. And a kick becomes for Manu. Edwards is there. Edwards is with it. Australia back in possession. Danny Ofido. They've completed 15 of 19 sets, Australia. They've had 57% of the ball in this first half. Is just the uh, 10 completed sets, but they are 10 of 12. So what they have had, the ball control has been good. Tedesco with the ball. And Australian players run for over 100 metres just yet. Now Grant, last tackle. Stuck, top on his hands, kicks high and long. And it'll be the John Vasako to bring it back for New Zealand on their 20. The team that put 50 points on Samoa last week, New Zealand, their attack's been stifled from good defence from the Kangaroos. So I think this man with his ball in his hands at the moment, Joseph Manu, needs to start roaming around and see if he can start hitting the scoreboard. Because yes, they have the... Uh... They have the option if they like, and, and this is the way they played at the World Cup. Manu fullback, Nickel Kutchstar in the centres. They they could uh, change the roles during the course of play if they need to get Manu involved a little more. Now for Brown. To run halfway. Let's tackle New Zealand. Hughes, certainly a 30 metre gain on the set. That kick's going to find open space, but oh, that's a friendly bounce. Ball to Desco to bring it back for Australia. Captain caught by Nikita. Now Edwards, as Lara reported, Fisher Harris back into the play. With that uh, number 23 in his back. And Holmes. Now Grant. Carrigan. Again, Australia safely through another set with that 12-point uh, lead. 
And they would be very happy with that if that's all it is going to the break. Cherry Evans kicks from 35 out from his own line. And Ronaldo back into the play. Scoring a try, a test for New Zealand. Ronaldo. And Timakor on that run. Four. Hughes. Mark. Jump at Fendi. Tried it on. Tabu Ifido got him right up. Maybe a little higher than the sternum there. Manu's Fend. Hughes and Foran. Foran's tackled his heart out tonight. 20. Three tackles in the first half is top of the count for New Zealand. Asafa Solomona to Hughes, there's a gap. Then Manu, pass without looking. Osako turns the hammer inside, but but not Tedesco. Last tackle, New Zealand. Oh, may have got a set restart there. No. Hughes with it. Bob on the last. It'll come down short of the line. The catch is beautiful. Ronaldo. Well, they've been a little bit unlucky in this half of footy. I don't think the Australians deserve to lead 18 points to six. Mulatalo, with a little bit of individual brilliance there, he outjumped the Australians on the run. If you have a look at it, Tedesco was caught at marker. Hughes just kicks away from him there. Mulatalo right on the spot. Two Australians tried to make the tackle, but his body weight has taken him over the line. What a great jump. Everyone competing for the ball. Mulatalo gets it, just stretches out that left arm. What a great try. I think that's very smart from Mulatalo because Valentine Holmes had his measure in the air. He actually swapped roles with Timaku. Came in one player in field, jumped over the top of Katoni Staggs and had a shot through Cherry Evans. So the New Zealand wing has been under pressure, but that's a smart play. Connected with his halfback and come up with a big try for New Zealand before half time. There it is, six tries and seven tests. Execution of the first try for Australia was superb. The same could be said there of what New Zealand have produced. And that high shot just showed how Mulatalo and Timiko swapped positions because they knew it was fifth tackle and Hughes connected and put it on an absolute spot for it. Five tries first half. Again, a reminder, these two sides go at it next week. Stakes higher. Pacific Championship final. New Zealand right in this one. Six points down. And uh, kickers 100% record so far tonight. So a test match. Great intensity. And damn good quality in this first 40 minutes on Fox League. Stopped with four seconds to go. Short one? No. Oh. Really, they're going to kick long here, and Jerome Hughes kicked to the far side, so there's going to be a kick at some stage from Jerome Hughes, I'd imagine, here. All right, last seconds of the first half. Australia defending, <laughs> and yeah, Nelson just runs it up. He, he wasn't part of that plan. <laughs> and, and Nelson's kicking game, and he has set up tries before, but he wasn't going to kick the ball and lead a chase. That is. A great first half. Lindsay Collins is one of the stories. A try double to the man wearing the number 15. At half time, it's Australia 18, New Zealand 12 at Amy Park. Well, you heard it. That is your score 18 12 to the Kangaroos. A great end to the half for the Kiwis. Don't go anywhere after the break. All your half time analysis with these guys. Hooky Mai, welcome back to Sky Sport. It's half time of this Pacific Championship Trans Tasman battle in Melbourne, and it's 18 12. The Kangaroos over the Kiwis at the moment. Gosh, the game started off heated with that hucker, and then unfortunately, a mistake from the Kiwis from the kickoff. We won't talk about that. I do want to talk about the half, though. Similar to the Kiwi Ferns, kind of started slow for the Kiwis, but we finished on a bit of a high leading into the halftime sheds, Willie. Yeah, they did, and it's. Uh... 
It's a wonderful test match. This is a, a, a true reflection of test match rugby league and what you expect. Both teams have had moments of uh, where they've controlled momentum and where they've controlled the tempo of the game. There's been some real highlights. The battle of uh, Fisher, Harris and Flegler um, lift, has lived up to its billing. Um, the generals, uh, Harry Grant coming off the bench has been important. Um, losing Fisher Harris was a loss, but uh, Nelson Asufa Solomon is trying to take that mantle and, and lead the Kiwis from the front. Yeah, Harry Grant came on and made a difference. How do we shut him down, Crystal? Yeah, he's someone who's hard to shut down. He's he's got he's got good vision for a hooker. He's just hard to out of out of the hooker position. But you know, there's the solid right across the board. Tedesco there with a beautifully weighted kick and Valentine Holmes getting in there and scoring a try. But oh, I just think it's been a brilliant battle, as Willie was saying, from both sides out there tonight, Mons. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and you, when you get players that you don't often see uh, come up with tricks in the, at the highest level with Tedesco, then was was brilliant. But we're this guy run his lines um, for every every game. He's been wonderful at that right edge, and of course the, the magician with the ball, uh, boots of ball, Hughes. He's been wonderful tonight as well. They see that you know there's call cool talks of a professional foul, but you know you don't know whether he would have scored that. But you know it's been a lot about the kicks and tri tries coming off kicks. For sure, Tedesco came up with the first kick for the Australian try to Valentine Holmes. Jerome Hughes came up with the next kick for Britton Nakora, and that crossfield kick. Unfortunately for the Kiwis, came on the back of a no try to Jermaine Isaako, where the Australians got a tap 20, a penalty, six again from Harry Grant, darting out a dummy half, and then that kick across the field. What a play by Hammerson Tabawai Fido. But this play off a quick play of the ball, we spoke about Harry Grant just picking a hole. Lindsay Collins off the bench picks himself up two tries. What an effort off the bench for him, but the Kiwis weren't over. The Kiwis weren't finished him, were they? Well, what about the discipline, I guess, not finishing, but also the discipline on, uh, you know, getting square, on defence. We need to tidy that up in the second half. Griffin. Oh, definitely. Uh, I think Griffin Neem got caught out a few times there, not being square at marker, and that's something that, you know, don't want to be lapsing on those issues in the second half, because that'll cost you, you know, and you don't want those those kind of issues creeping into the game, and then under fatigue as well, oh. things like that start to happen. So those are the things we want to the, be looking The luxury at. to bring on Harry Grant, um, although when Ben Grant's been on, and he's been able to do what he's done, and then he comes out, he just picks them off you know, against his old teammate, Asafa Solomona. He got him for being offside. And also uh, Griffin Neem, who's just in the second test match, not being straight. Uh, that's what you're going to get, uh, you know, when you're a tired, uh, tired defender in the middle. And when you're getting a lot of position going against you with the, the Saucer team and what they're throwing at them. Well, there was a near moment of absolute brilliance for Jermaine Isako. And had he scored that try, I mean, that would have been momentum swinging for the Kiwis. Had he pulled this off, how good was it, Willie? I know he didn't quite get there. Yeah, but he's really close. <laughs> really great play. We're talking about Jermaine and Isako in this kicking game, but it's this passing game on this occasion that ties up these defenders. Hammerson Tabawai Fido had to come in a long way, but Jermaine Isako, to keep his feet in the field of play is one thing. Twinkle toes, mate. Then, oh, then almost just lost the grip and had put the ball down on the line. As Monty said, had he been able to transfer mid here? No, I just like been, imagine if he did. I mean, <laughs> been, uh, what he just did there was freakish magic, anyway, like, but if he'd just done that, oh, he yeah, just, just unfortunate. Mike he drop. didn't get the try. And you know, the Kiwis, they stayed in the fight to score just before half time, give themselves an 18 point chase. Um, it's a lot different to 18 6 mm -hmm. um, in the way that the game is going, especially when Australia, close to the end of the half, had 57% of the, the possession. Mm. That can take its toll petrol wise. The score line gives them some energy. They've, uh, they've just got to start the, the second half better than they started the first. Well, speaking of energy, you already brought it up. The battle between Thomas Flegler and Fisher Harris. Crystal, what have you made of it? Oh, it's been a great battle, you know, obviously brutally physical between the two of them. It's tip for tat. And Mons, I know you were you were fussing out Boom. watching this. Look at that, the modern day enforcer, the, the <laughs> captain who leads by example with Mana. And then he also let him know and let a number of people know on occasion too, vocally, uh, that that wasn't good enough, you're not up to it. You know, if it's not bad enough that he's got the ring uh, at home, um, <laughs> you know, he's, uh, back to back to back. But um, look, he's been wonderful out there. Uh, we also, we, Harry Grant came on, but it was also when the captain went off yeah. uh, that we noticed that change. Is it a coincidence? I'm not too sure. But the sooner he's out there and the, the longer minutes he's played, it's going to be better for this outfit because he's a wonderful leader. Yeah, who else needs to step up in the second half, Willie? Uh, I think they're all stepping up. They've just got to have some moments where they play the game down the other end of the field. We're already talking about the short kicking game for Jerome Hughes. He's had one long kick 
where he put uh, Dylan Edwards under pressure and forced an error. If he can come up with those types of kicks and the Kiwis can chase, you can see when the Aussies are kicking deep and they're playing that arm wrestle type game, their line chase is so aggressive that they're pinning them inside the 10 metres and the Kiwis need to take some of that. And if they can play the game down there, force some errors out of Australia, they'll take the lead soon. They'll yep. take the lead. That left edge, I've been really liking Tamoka and what he's been doing. You know, it's just the second test, but he hasn't been overawed by the situation. He's been very strong with his carries in crucial, crucial moments. Yeah, well, that is us for half-time. And it's also us for Crystal Rota's contribution to the show, You're leaving us now at half-time. Thank you for joining us. Great insights as always. I'm sure you'll be uh, following the score closely as you head away home. Thank and you. also don't forget the All Blacks. Yes, the grand final is on tomorrow morning. Our coverage starts at 6.15am on Sky Sport. But don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the second half of this Kangaroos Kiwis test after the break. Sky Sport, it's half time here between the Kiwis and the Kangaroos. The Kangaroos up 18-12 at the moment. We heard from Willie before the break, but Monty, what do you want to see from the Kiwis in the second half just to get over them? I, like, I think more of the same. They're in the contest, uh, they're in the arm wrestle, but it's you know back and forth and it's about moments. We heard uh, Madge McGuire talk about that and he's looking for moments and what you can do in terms of your leaders stepping up and uh, you've got to be at the right end of the field to be in the right position to be to take hold of those moments. Right, well, we've heard from the experts here. Time now for the second half of this Pacific Championship Trans-Tasman battle. Let's head back to Melbourne. It's been a tremendous build-up to that one. That'll be a great atmosphere. And one not to be missed here on Fox League. But right now, second 40 here. And uh, New Zealand... Cooper, I thought... I, I thought 18-12 reflected the difference between the teams more so than if it had been stuck on 18-6. Well, New Zealand scored 50 points last week in this first half. Come up against a better defensive team. Two tries from kicks were for Australia. Well, I thought their bench was great block. They came on and added some punch. Yeah, I thought it was great timing for New, New Zealand to score right on the stroke of half time because I thought, I thought the Australians were starting to dominate through Carrigan and Grant and all those sort of guys. So they've got themselves a chance to get back into the game Great time to score for them. Second half underway. Just two line breaks in the opening 40 minutes. One apiece. The, South, uh, the uh, Australian side had 54% of the ball. New Zealand 46. They completed 13 to 15 sets. If they can get their possession rate up to 54%, they might be looking at something very close at the finish. Foreign. And, uh, and Hughes just dropping that one off. There, try scorer in the first half. Foreign to Hughes. The high down to Tedesco with the ball. Always have these seagulls hovering at Amy Park, which can present somewhat of a problem to the catchers. come back for the, the championship final watching closely Katani Stags has been a little quiet tonight Holmes could always play center of course well, Edwards keep his spot that's all to be uh, worked out during the week for Malmeninga now Pat Carrigan line. Grant with it Tedesco Not a night of high metre gains for, for uh, players on either side. No one has run for over 100 metres tonight. That is most unusual in uh, any game of rugby league. Now the ball with Mulatala. From Lara Pitt shortly as uh, Timikol didn't get the cleanest ball there. Last week, 10 tackle busts against Samoa. No freedom at all for uh, Timikol tonight. This time with Asako. Kiwis through four tackles over the 30. No. Well, they were. Now they're over it a second time. Manu passes. They're over it a third time. Back for Nikola. 
alongside Tabu Aifido in the tackle with Munster. Good to really see the hammer in open spaces. He did throw the last pass for a good try. Four into play on the last tackle here. Nickel good start to Hughes. Very steady start to the second half. You, you wouldn't say they've come out all guns blazing here. Let's go to the sideline. Lara Pitt. The overarching message from Mal Meninga, just play the long game, be patient, and keep doing what they're doing, but just apply more kick pressure in this second half on the Kiwis. From Mike Maguire, very positive in those sheds at half time. Just wants his side to make sure the pressure is on the Kangaroos and not on themselves and play smart defensively. Carrigan, that charge. Farmanu Brown yet to be used for New Zealand and Nico Hines yet to see any game time for Australia. As Yo runs it up over halfway. Collins, the scorer of two of Australia's three tries. Grant, little deception there, kick through. Nickel Cook start with the ball. Dylan Brown, the Hughes. They have two halves that, that love to run the football. Hughes and Brown, they they hold a key. We threw it out there in the first half that maybe Maguire could switch Manu to fullback. There's probably poker players watching saying, no, you wouldn't do it this week. You hold that tactic back for next week. Don't show your hand now. Yeah, I think uh, he's a very dangerous runner of the ball, Brown, isn't he? You get Went under the radar in the first half. Six runs for 60 metres. So on that left-hand side, you've got Hughes playing, floating and playing predominantly on the right. I think he needs to run the ball. He was dangerous in the first half. Fifth time Australia has played at Amy Park in a test match. They are four from four. One win over New Zealand, three over England. Asifa Solomona with the ball here. That's the other thing I like about Collins too. Don't worry about the try scoring. Did you see that tackle there? Got up in the in the face. Bigger Soffa. Trying to stamp a little bit of authority there for Australia. First points would be a huge boost to New Zealand's chances tonight. Rather than chase down 10 or 12 again. I believe he played here. Four tackles into the set. Foran was a little slow to play the ball. Brown now. Out for Hughes, straight runner, Nikola, Foran, kept alive, Fisher-Harris, Thompson. Good tackle outside in from Katoni Staggs, last play, New Zealand, this time off a quick play to ball. The kick from Brown came off the legs of Cherry Evans, the ricochet went Australia's way, and now Thompson and Collins. All Collins needs to say is, I've got two more tries than you. Although I think they're saying a little more than that. I think, it was, I think it's Fisher Harris and the contact over the top of the ball was on the ground, and Lindsay Collins didn't like it. Yes, I've said it many times. This is rugby league foreplay, Cooper. That sort of <laughs> little facial. Uh, that's the modern day Stoush, the uh, jersey scrunch. And the play on. Well handled, Adam G. No need to go any further with that. Let's keep the game going. Edwards. Brilliant, Fisher Harris. Don't worry about Panther. He's a, he's a kangaroo and I'm a Kiwi tonight. Yo with the ball. Now for Carrigan. You wouldn't call it an explosive second uh, or start to the second half, but it's uh, it's very tense. Who will make a mistake? Push start back for the Kiwis. Chased and hunted down there by Collins. Between the two fullbacks, there's only one tackle bust tonight. There's some unusual numbers. Are they playing a little within themselves? Tedesco, 73 running metres, one tackle bust. With a push star, only 52 running metres tonight. Hey. 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 on that run, was looking for a quick play, the ball. Got a set restart there, no. 
Alice of Solomona. In the main, he's been well handled as well. No offloads, no tackle bust from Nelson. Hughes, another kick. Again, it's out Edwards' way. They got one error in the first half. Not here. Edwards brings it back. Edwards almost through the front line. Now Tedesco. They pick it up a little on the first two plays of this set. Valentine Holmes is going to go for a run as well. So three in a row, the back three. Holmes through, passes. Good attack, Australia. They've, they've skipped a couple of gears at this set. Munster along to Murray. Low tackle was done by Nikola Amazo. Last tackle, look at the metres made on this set. 70 of them. Munster kicking, he was knocked over as he kicked. Play on the call from referee G, and New Zealand back with it, five out from their line, but one of the biggest uh, metre-gaining sets of the game. You've got to put it down to Val Holmes coming in, footwork through the middle of the ruck, speed out of dummy half. That was the run that put him on the front foot there for Australia. Third tackle, and Timikol is crawling his way to the 10. This is hard toil for New Zealand, this set. Amanu Brown, so now we only wait for Nico Hines to come on the field. Got limited minutes, as you know, in his origin debut in Adelaide as Hughes bombs. For, well, it's, it's a mighty strike, really. I call it a bomb. It's a it's a 45-meter bomb. It's a huge kick from Hughes. Australia with a 10 inside their own half. Holmes again. Carrigan. Good position in this set. Munster. Sherry Evans. Oh, good tackle. That was Brown. One of the better defending halves in the game. Harry Grant has been a standout. Causing problems every time. Now Carrigan. Last tackle, Murray. Then for Tabuo Fino. On the He's got his first try as a kangaroo. A great moment in the career that is on the up and up for Dylan Edwards. I well, just like the, the patience that he showed there, Tabby Ifido. Just straightened as he came around the corner there. It was Harry Grant again with a good run, but it was a quick play. The ball got him for numbers. Just look at the day there. The speed to get on the outside straightens up. And Edwards on the back end of that. You can put it down at some runs from Val Holmes too. He's got Australia up the other end of the field. And Edwards finishes it off. What about the move from Hamaso Tabuai Fido here? Joseph Marta, the Golden Boot winner from last year, is one on one with a bit of space. And the hammer just shows him the inside shoulder as the ball gets passed out. He hip shifts and moves to the outside. Manu doesn't even get a hand on him. That is electric footwork from Hammer. So watch this here. Stutter pass, and then when the pass goes to the out, Hammer just moves and beats Manu to the outside and sets up Edwards. Great footwork there from the centre. Junior Kangaroo in 2016, Dylan Edwards. The Bellingen Junior scores here in the green and gold. It's a, it's a brilliant moment. What a player. What a player. What an amazing few years he's had. Clive Churchill medal, three premierships. Edwards now a test try scorer. Tabu Ifido has two try assists for the Knights. Yeah, there have been touches of class too. You think back to the first half, that pass back on the inside that set the try up. And then that, that beautiful footwork and, and pace. Class player. Holmes is looking for four from four. Well, he's certainly taken over the duties from Staggs. Edwards a try, margin 12, stacks of time left. And a lovely work try, this one. Isaiah Yo to Patrick Carrigan. Carrigan to Murray. And then they just get the hands, get the ball in the hands of speed of Hamaso and Tabio Fido. And the outside backs finish it, but it was three middle forwards passing the ball to one another, and then the speed acceleration from Hammer on the edge to get the rest. 
it's almost like he moved sideways at speed, wasn't it? He was going directly crab-like across to the to the sideline, but at speed, it wasn't a sidestep. 24 to 12. Advantage Australia. Wait, guys, stage have the Kiwis led. Now Ruben Cotter. Hines is up. Nico Hines is going to get more minutes for Australia than he did for New South Wales, it would seem. Carrying okay, to play it. Now to Desco. A bit hurt in the tackle to Desco. Yeah, he got to hit a little bit high. I think it was a bit softer coming in. One side of him there. A bit of a head knock there for Tedesco. Just change the plans of Melvin Ingram with this guy coming on the field with Tedesco. The captain playing in the final next week. Hines might have been coming on the middle, maybe swapped with one of the halves, but with the skipper now. Under a bit of an injury, injury cloud or head of injury assessment. Oh, jeez. Oh, he might have done as much damage to uh, Brett. Look at that, didn't he? I mean, he won't get charged for the tackle on Tedesco. He might get charged for the tackle on Nikola. He's on report. <laughs> Put him on report for both. There's the saying, when someone was made, they threw away the mould. With Nelson, there were two moulds. He was that bloody big. <laughs> they put them together. Cherry Evans kicks for the line. I got a million off a block. You just don't have to oh, listen yeah. to them all off season. Keep them coming. <laughs> I'll send them via text over the summer. Oh, Murray no. is tackled. Change my number. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Carrigan with the ball, 30 away. So Australia oh, now, no. big chance to establish the biggest lead of the night. Brett Yo, the Kiwis have to hang on in this set. Plenty of time, but you don't want to be you don't want to be trying to tra chase back three converted drives. Cherry Evans stags with a move. Tackled by Timiko there. Holmes now. Cherry Evans across with Grant. Shake to kick. Munster was in for a bruising there. Manu probably let him off a little lightly. Last tackle, Australia. Harry Grant. Cherry Evans. Bomb looking for Holmes, looking for Staggs, and New Zealand have the answer. Ronaldo's got the ball, and sigh of relief from the Kiwi camp. Australia look good when Munster and Cherry Evans are connected, and Tedesco's just roaming freely in terms of the attack, and they look very good to the Queensland pair because they played a lot of football together and playing well tonight. Now Hughes out in front. Sarko with the ball. Carter towards the sideline. Nico Hines still waiting to come on. Hughes on a, a dash of sorts, tackled by Munster and Murray. Masako for Manu. Show pass to himself. Five short of halfway. Lost the ball. Here comes down, knocks it and up. referee Adam G is straight on to it again. He's he's informed the ref. He, he's ruling with authority. Four. He's confident Johnny. about this captain's challenge, I reckon, uh, Adam G. Decision, uh, knocked out as a strip from the strike. Okay, he asked the challenge. That's a loose carry to me. He's always trying to turn around and offload the football, Manu. He's got held by the elbow with green over the top. action from the it's Australian team. Carry. Just looking to see where the ball then goes. The ball is then knocked on by the Kiwis. The challenge by Australia is successful. It's a winner. For the Aussies, Harry Grant was fairly confident. Isaiah. Yeah, well. Where's Jose? Yo. He's got a cut on his head. Oh, yeah. We're going to scum now. We're going to scum. Jose's gone on. He's gone off. So, Nico Hines is on. His first test match. Ooh, yeah, well, in 2019. 
Melbourne against South Sydney, Lara sideline. Yeah, huge cheer from behind the Kangaroos bench when the 2022 Dalian medalist made his way onto the field. Definitely the biggest support crew here at Amy Park tonight. An emotional jersey presentation saw his former mentor Craig Bellamy come along to last night. And the man who gave him his NRL debut is here for his test debut tonight. So plenty of support for him as he makes his way into this game. And he's on for Jose. You know, that means he's playing through the middle of the field. And that means that Australia are looking to zing the ball around here and move the defence of New Zealand around. So now Cherry Evans, Tedesco in the line, stacks. Front on, Molotalo strong, not for the first time tonight. Holmes to Cherry Evans. Collins, a Collins hat trick. What would that, what would that be? The price before the game. Now Grants, Hines, straightens for Munster. Fend away from Hughes. Now Munster's on the run. Australia leading by 12, 24 to go. Now for Grant. Turns it inside. Hines with it. Finished off over the top by Fisher Harris. Last tackle play in New Zealand. Hang on again. Nico! This time, full-blown penalty. Adam G all of a sudden has his hands full. This is where New Zealand should realise that Nico Hines is defending the middle of the field. He's going to be Harry Grant next to him as well. So they need to go to the power it, game here, New Zealand. Get quick play balls through the middle forwards, get Manu in and around, because I'd be targeting that man defensively if I'm going to chase down these points for New Zealand. All right, so New Zealand start a set, 10 inside their own half. So now true to his word, he's going to give some uh, reasonable game time to Hines. And, and Hines had said, leading up to the game, he was comfortable in the role that he'd been given without giving too much away to all of us. And now have an answer. Fisher-Harris to Hughes. Caught there by Murray and Munster. Murray's had a game tonight. For the Australians. Fisher Harris, Brown, and almost through the Stags tackle. Quick play the ball. Play on. Brown there for Fisher Harris. Hughes puts it down in front of Munster. Oh, Jerome's ever going to hear the end of it from Cameron. He's had him one, two, three times tonight. He's put pressure on, hasn't given him time to ball play. Again, Munster up in his face. Just couldn't release that ball. Just look at him there. Reads it out the back. Good defense from Munster. He was in doubt for the test with illness right up to yesterday. And then I, I saw one of the reporters quote said he's been cleared to play and he's out pestering everyone. That's how they knew that he was he was back feeling 100 percent Cameron Munster. He's uh, 11th test match tonight. Now Cherry Evans. Well, it's just a case now as we head Get towards the final there. quarter of the game. New Zealand have to other. find the next Hold points in the other. contest. Play the ball. Go one. Katoni's there as well. Ruben Cotter. His charge. Move now, Joe! Liam Martin will be straight back into the starting side next week. No surprise with that. Carrigan. Martin named as replacement player tonight. Well, Big Tino and Haas will be back into the side too, so it'll be a great win for Australia if they can end up and finish this game off here. I don't know what it'll do to New Zealand mentally. Now yeah, high short side. Tavio Fido's done it again. Got it to Edwards. He's kicked for Tedesco. Tedesco got it back while falling. And was able to hang on to it. Grant wants it quickly, knows his shift is needed. Munster knows it too. Now it's to Cherry Evans. On it comes for Stags. Australia in the corner. New Zealand on the ropes. And they managed to get the job done just. And that's the be benefit of having multiple ball players on your side. Hines down the short side, back inside. Tedesco got it. And it was straight from Munster to Cherry Evans. Tony Stags goes close, but... This was the lead-up work. Terrific play, interchange of passing, but a lot of ball players in the field for Australia at the moment. And that's the reward, shifting the ball around. 
And then a ball is lost there. He planted it, shock and play the ball, didn't get his foot on the ball. Fisher Harris comes away with the with the error. Well, Solomona back to the bench. In that last play, Tedesco became first back to run over 100 metres tonight. Well, it's just right over the ball from Fisher Harris. Attention to detail at a vital time, not there. Australia perfect in the completion rate, second half. Led by six at the break, now lead by 12. Hold there. From the scrum for the open side, Tedesco straightens up. Yet another, another pressure test on the New Zealand defence. Starting them out here, the work they've had to do close to their own line. Australia now had more tackles inside their opponent's 20 than the other way round. Caught up. Oh, tarpany has been hurt here. A collision for two of the Kiwis. Fisher Harris and Tarpany. That is going to hurt. Tarpany's copped it above the right eye. Fisher Harris, who'd been in the wars earlier tonight, has been split again. He can fill up a couple of wine bottles tonight. Poor old James. Look away. That's a collision. That's what you hear the crowd groan, and we're used to hit clashes, but you know, the Americans are going to get in. They're in for a shot in Vegas. But they see our athletes, how tough they are, the impact. No pads, no helmets. Tarpany, unless the independent doctor says something, these blokes will just get up, dust themselves off, and play on. Australia are halfway through a set and they're only five metres away from the line. So, yeah, Fisher Harris he almost threw the towel away. It's just a mix, sir. And uh, Tarpany, just tape it up, mate. And on we go. So they have to last this set, New Zealand. Otherwise, the clock becomes an enemy as well. They might have to mummify Fisher Harris. <laughs> yes, uh -oh, lip readers, you've enjoyed that moment. I think he said, fancy that. 24 12. He'll be playing next week with a few tacks in his head. Well, there you go, the LMG fan club. The two life members here tonight. <laughs> One and a half. <laughs> B. <laughs> All right, now they're going to tend to James. Well, actually, because it's the second time tonight, I don't know if they're entitled to keep the game on hold here. I think the referee, be, referee would be entitled to say we go out the back. But anyway, we'll, we'll hold up play and, and have 13 on 13 in the defensive line. I'm no doctor, I don't know what that's going to hold, what they've just done to him there, but anyway, we'll play on. Tackle three. Tom on three tackles into the set. Hines, Munster, show, show again. 12 from the line. Harry Grant, Carrigan, been very strong. Collins, Collins, surely not. <laughs> surely not, Blocker. Hat tricks and front rowers, they're not used in the same sentence. Munster, Murray, oh, Tedesco lost it over the shoulder. Was crunched in the process by Osaka. Tedesco's up. New Zealand, they hang on. That's terrific defence from Osaka because Cameron Murray was doing the ball playing. He knew the pass was going straight to Tedesco and he did not hesitate. Hit him hard, ball was dislodged, so good defensive play from the winger. Round for Papalihi. Margin never greater than 12. And still 18 to go. Just under now. Moses Leona back on. 
Brown there, last tackle, New Zealand, Hughes. Can he draw an error from Australia? Tedesco on one knee. Won't be passing there. Australia back with it inside their 30. Down to the wire when these sides played in the World Cup semis. Australia can see, oh, that's been lost by Holmes. It was allowed to continue. Cherry Evans. New Zealand fans unhappy with that previous play, the ball. Hines. Now Grant. Carrigan. Pick it up. Brown. The Otter, the defenders. Grant. Scheming as always. Collins. Collins. A bump there. Last tackle, Australia. Grant to Cherry Evans. Another bomb. Why not? Holmes is coming through. Olatalo is there for New Zealand. Starting a lot of sets deep inside their territory. But in the contest, they remain. Olatalo's leg has stiffened up awfully quickly there. The girls, the crew! get any flexibility in the, the knee at all now Brown switch a play Fisher Harris if you've got tackled you got two blockers and you take your advantage you got two blockers that come in next to the rock and you take your well, advantage this is penalty gold Australia for 14 point lead that is a rare penalty conceded while in possession they've positioned the two blockers and then you've taken your advantage of the obstruction they caused the defence, Cooper. You'll have to see it again, but as you said, put this game more than three tries for yeah. New Zealand to come back. 14 point difference here from Valve Holmes has been very good for Hood so far, but I'll have to check the replay to see what exactly happened. But Adam G's been spot on tonight. Tomo back from the cramp here. Is the angle for Holmes, who is four from four tonight. 21 metres out from goal. Downside. Kicked at 83% uh, this year with the Cowboys. One of his better seasons. He's already been a try scorer tonight. His 20th test try in his 20th test. This for the 14-point margin. The biggest lead of the night in the test match before the decider. These two sides to play next Saturday live on Fox League. Right here now, it's 26 to 12. Chelsea's just made some changes. Middle four just change. Flegler on. The starting middles of Jack Dubojevic back on as well. So Australia got some Good leg speed through the middle again. Mal Meninga looking to win his 12th test from 12 attempts at home. PNG v Fiji tomorrow here on Fox League. Alex Johnston lining up at fullback for PNG. Publicity for Alex this week. The likes of Sivo and Ravalawa in the back line. And there's a an awful blunder by the manly duo, Cherry Evans and Jake Krabojevic. They've just, they've just opened the door for New Zealand. Jake just came on the field. That was his first non-touch because Cherry Evans lets it bounce and Krabojevic tries his best. The poor start and they go up by 14. Now, what do New Zealand have? They've only scored two tries tonight, both from kick. So it's on Brown and Hughes to come up with something. Short drop out. New Zealand need it. The bat back goes New Zealand's way. Clean bat back Australia. New Zealand had possession. Made by Brown. Now Tarpany. Well, they can get it back to eight in quick time. With uh, more than 12 minutes to go. New Zealand fans get a little excited. The honour with the ball. Up they come in defence. Cotter and Trebojevic. Now Brown in front of the posts. Hughes, no chance to run there. 
There's a chance for Manu though to run. Taking on Tabu Ifido, rolled a pass out that may have been knocked on by Edwards. Now Munster's got an awful grab. It's a knock on off Dylan. Knock on off Dylan. Now Hemiso's got the grab as well. He's no help. Couple down with dogs. Stretch it out. It's not working. Manu threatening. We got lucky there, New Zealand, because they were getting pulled over to touch. He went the flick pass and Edwards knocked it on. The attack's just been stifled all night, New Zealand. The middle forwards haven't had enough punch, and the halves just haven't been getting forward momentum football. Australia's defence has been great. From the scrum, 10 metres away, Brown. Cherry Evans, judo like defence, got him onto his back. Brown, that's Farmanu Brown, dummy half. Nickel Clock Star and Fisher Harris. Kiwi fans, their most vocal now of the night. Brown and Brown, they're not solicitors. On to us for Solomona. Nine metres away from the line. Ball back with Tarpany. Flick past Fisher Harris. Then turns and passes for Brown. Boyevich and Hines, the defenders. Dylan Brown clears the ruck. Hughes, Manu, Tabuai Fino gets his bang. That's the best if can day in Manu tonight. Last tackle, New Zealand. Hughes, it's been a scrambling set. Kick on the end. Leapers there. Stags lost it. Man offside. Penalty, New Zealand. Well, there's nothing Cotter could do there. He got himself in a position, had to grab the ball in an offside Keep position. Let's go, Bailey. No Let's choice. Go. The Kiwis have got another chance here. Take it 10 metres out and away they'll go. Ten and a half minutes to go. 26 to 12. Leota. You've got the feeling it's got to be Hughes or, or Brown. Maybe Brown the more likely to... To step, although Fisher Harris takes it into his own hands to almost get the in goal. Fabanu Brown has burrowed over to score for New Zealand. Not Dylan Brown, it's the other Brown. Yeah, just got, got himself low there. Got under. We've seen him do it plenty of times, Brown. Scores a try for New Zealand. Had too much possession. Australia couldn't hang on. They won't go away. Here's the run from Fisher Harris. A quick play the ball. Brown just catches him out. He's got Hines in front of him. Too strong. Yeah, the charge was from Fisher Harris. One on one, isolated Harry Grant. And this is a poor effort from Nico Hines. Most dangerous person on the field is the man with the ball in his hands. But Manu Brown throws the dummy out the left hand side or it shapes to the left. Nico Hines bites. Brown scores. Complete, so you can sort of say an amazing comeback for this bloke. I mean, he was gone. He was absolutely gone. Injury riddled. NRL career, you'd, you would have thought, done and dusted as fought his way back through the New South Wales Cup. Once he got himself fit, a couple of clubs, seven NRL games, in fact, three clubs. He ended up at the Knights this year, playing a couple of games at the end of the season. Well, he's scoring a try for New Zealand. And you, and you would have to think we'll play the final next week off the bench. This for 26 18. Okay, then. Eight and a half minutes to go. Body language is good with the Kiwis. Australia by no means home. Three tries tonight, two from kicks, one from the borrow from the dummy half from Brown just then. So they're going to run down this scoreboard in the last eight and a half minutes. The sort of set plays aren't working for them yet. Australia's defence is in up, so I think it's got to be the quick play the ball or the offload game from New Zealand. Gets the line break here that they're going to chase down the scoreboard. Well, they're a dangerous side when they get down the other end. They just proved that. It's the bulk of the second half, Australia's really boxed them into a corner. Block while that all happened. Cameron Munster off. Zayo back on. Will now slot into the halves. Just to hold 
up on the resumption here. We had an intruder on the field, which has been uh, now taken off the far corner. Back underway. Eight points the difference. Eight and a half to go. Dylan Brown off the kickoff. It was neither here nor there the kickoff. New Zealand start on their 20 metre line. So Munster just cramp, but will sit out the remaining minutes of the game. That wasn't Lara Pitt on the sideline, by the way. Ball to Moses Liotta. Outside the 30. Then Fisher Harris. It's going to be big next week. Payne Haas, Tino Fasil Malawi against Fisher Harris and Moses Leota in the opening exchanges. Good start with the ball. Brown for Hughes, another bomb. One drop ball from Edwards tonight. He's not going to catch this one. Ball taken by Manu. He lost it at the finish. It was bounced. Changeover. Yes, a changeover Australia's way. But you can't write off Manu even in that situation. Oh, Tabu Ifido limping. Is that just cramp? Yes, it is. As long as it's not Hemi. He's had troubles before. Made by Edwards. Hunt. Flegler. Pumped down by Fisher Harris. Tabi Ifido confirming just crap. That's good news. Yo with the ball. Just 26 win it for Australia. Are there any more points coming from New Zealand? Hunt. Hines. Not able to get away from Brown there or Nikita. Sharks teammate. Last play. Cherry Evans from halfway, long to a corner. Molotalo with it. The Kiwis start another set, 20 away from their own line. Dylan Brown, to be I still think Dylan Brown is the, is the man that needs to find something. Asafa Solomon, ready to rock and roll into Ruben Connor. Round and Nikol Kuchstar on the Hughes, out to Manu. Spun around the tackle. Three have got him in the finish. Able to play it, 10 short of halfway. Nikol Kuchstar, Tapani. Flowed not quite. Last tackle. With the Hughes bomb, the Edwards side. No, it's Tedesco this time with it. If ever they needed to force a mistake from Australia, it is right now. The Aussies tonight, just five incomplete sets. Been pretty solid. Holmes cut down. Classic tackle by Brown on a flying winger there. Now Hines. Hit over the top by Hughes. Tedesco. Down that short side. Probably some Kiwi fans hoping was Michael Maguire saying Manu to fullback. Ball cop the deflection. New Zealand have got it. And the hammer has his uh, Dolphins teammate there. The Kiwis with Brown extending the ball across to Militalo. Sags with a the tackle there. Quick play the ball. Timikol now. Ran around the Ruben Cotter at first attempt. But they're at the the wrong end of the field as far as they're concerned. Griffin Neem on the run. But that is four tackles up without really stretching the Australian defence. Tarpany, Hughes, this time, Nicola, good tackle, Hines. He said on the way down, last tackle. Oh, it's been more than just bomb, Hughes kick over the top, Edwards is with it. And Australia get it back. If they've got a trick shot, New Zealand, it has to be produced on the next set. They can't just go five plays and kick. Tedesco, Edwards. First test try tonight for Dylan Edwards. 
He's had 15 carries for over 100 metres. Tedesco, 16 carries, 154 metres. That's the most of any player tonight. James Tedesco, the Aussie captain. Flegler to play. Hunt back for Cherry Evans. Bomb from 43 out. They're going to let it bounce the Kiwis. It bounces, it bounces again. Holmes got it back. Look out. Beware a second kick. Stags and cross field. Look at the bounce again. It's anyone's. A line drop out out of all of that. But that was circus stuff. Well, that's a, again, they've taken another set there away from the Kiwis. The second kick, as you mentioned, the chase was on. Val Holmes did well to get the ball back in the field of play. And then the chase is on. Had the ball bounce right there. Tapio Fidel would have got a try. Well, the short dropout's too long. Easy catch to Desco. 26 18. Get through this set, Australia. Hard to see them losing. Flegler on the bounce. 15 away, Hunt. Yo. And another one. Be new on the score sheet tonight. Maybe Nico Hines. Hunt to Hines. Goes short. Hurry cut down. Trying to score in six straight tests. Hunt from W half. Spins and scores. Ben Hunt wraps it up tonight. Sets it up for the final. Australia just a little too good. Yeah, that's only a little thing. What about Murray's play the ball? Gee, he's got a great play the ball. Very quick. Hunt just identified that they couldn't come off their line New Zealand that time. And he scores a match winner. A couple of players left on the ground. A little bit slow to get back. Murray with a quick play the ball. Hunt identifies it. Too strong. Had a lot to do too. Spun out of the tackle of Hughes. What a time to score. Yeah, they've only got themselves to blame, New Zealand. It was Mulatalo who couldn't finish the kick that went in behind. Got the ball back on a repeat set. Therefore, Jerome Hughes couldn't get the short kick off. And then Ben Hunt close the line. Just a tandem act between Harry Grant and Ben Hunt. They're dynamic. Ben Hunt's a straight ball runner, whereas Harry Grant's got a bit more craft. But they balance each other out. They've been good tonight, too. A try there for Ben Hunt to finish off this game. People kick the ball into the crowd better than Ben Hunt after a try. That's his trademark. I said earlier, a 33-year-old number nine and a 34-year-old number seven. And then you got Tedesco at 30. I'd have to uh, have to go back through the record books to find a more aging uh, set of playmakers in the Australian side. No to Bell Holmes keep up the 100% record and he's done that it's mission accomplished tonight Australia I will quickly get comments with a little over a minute to go Cooper the changes for the final obviously Tino back in Haas back in Martin they will all go into the starting side what are you doing with the backlog I think it stays the same as tonight uh, I think Selwyn Cobbo was on the sidelines Dylan Edwards uh, uh, Valentine Holmes being great with boot He's a good finisher and scores tries, so I think that's the dynamic there in terms of the back line and those forwards. They just come straight in, block. Yeah, I agree with you there. I, look, have, I just wonder what this does mentally to the New Zealand side, getting beat by, well, a very good Australian side, but not the best Australian side. When you look at Tino and Haas and Martin, three forwards have come back into the back. So, short dropout, 14 the difference. There's Holmes with the ball. So Mal Meninga's record as coach. It is unbeaten on Australian soil. 12 from 12. And a 23-2 record. And it will be another year for New Zealand without a win in Australia. 2015, the last time they won on Aussie soil. Now Hunt with it. Got up. Full of running in this set. Hunt for Boyovic. Hines there for Murray. He's going to get one, is he? Murray has done it. He's equaled the record of the great run, Coates. 
An Australian forward scoring in six straight tests. And if you mention the same vein as, as Ron, you know you've achieved something wonderful. Yeah, he's been great tonight, hasn't he, Murray? Defensively, does all that clean-up work. But this time, beautifully weighted pass here from Hines. Got on the outside there of Hughes, and then showed plenty of pace, backed himself. Because Pockstar couldn't go with him. And that is some sort of effort. He's a great player, this bloke. He's been rock solid tonight, Cam Murray. He's been peppering Jerome Hughes defensively. A number of times isolated New Zealand halfback, and this time he went straight through the outside shoulder and scored that try. Tremendous play there from Cam Murray. Ice is a great performance from the Kangaroos. This is up to New Zealand to go back and find out what missed tonight because there is a huge game next week. As Ken Murray strolls through, but New Zealand's attack has been poor. They've let in too many points, 36, maybe 38 soon from Val Holmes. And New Zealand team, particularly their forward pack, have really got to stand up next week. One of the five NRL captains in this Australian side, Cameron Murray, the Rabbitohs skipper, scores the try. And uh, that is the record. Ron Coot did it. Six tests in a row, 68-69. And then Cameron Murray scores in six consecutive tests. Scored a crucial try there in that World Cup semi-final last year. Scores the last one here. Siren sounds as Holmes is about to move in. That's not perfect. Nor is the kick. They'll say, what about that, sir? Full time. Sets it up for next week. Australia will start favourites. New Zealand will be on home soil. The Pacific Championship final. The Kangaroos and the Kiwis. But in tonight's warm-up in Melbourne, Australia have won by 18. Full-time. Australia 36. New Zealand 18.